Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Rise of Empires. I supply a video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Please keep up the good work, guys. Like it if you can. Subscribe if you want to. It absolutely, positively helps me immensely if you do, and I completely and utterly appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking about the um, my view on the five buildings you should be maxing. So I did a video last week, which was uh, five things for being a new account, you know, and that was kind of things to do. I want to talk about the buildings I think you should be maximizing and, and focusing on um, that are going to help you in your early game, uh, not just in farm accounts. If you're starting new, if you have an alt account, these are kind of the five most important buildings, I think, I guess, before castle level 12. After that, you know, maybe we'll do another video, five buildings after castle level 12 that you should be focused on. As always, um, please let me know your feelings, your opinions down in the comments below. If I like your opinions, I will agree with you and say, good opinion, mate. If I don't like your opinions, I will ban you forever from my comment section and, and, and hunt you until you are dead. Of course, I won't. I will as well. Uh, try and reply. That's actually an important thing. I try and reply to nearly every single thing that is ever mentioned on my comments, which is kind of hard sometimes. There's a lot of people. Anyway, let's get down to it. The five buildings I think are super important at the start of the game. Uh, number one, and I said this in the five things I think are important, but number one is the bar. I'm going to repeat this again and again and again. I think it's absolutely super massively important that you upgrade this thing because of the experience you're going to get when you attack Marauders. And remember, one of the first things to do in the first 20 days of the game is to attack Marauders. Because basically, you're going to follow the, what is it? Where is it? Area cleansing operation, which is the first 21 days of the game. You have to do this. This is super important because you're going to get Shifu, you're going to get the Sergeant, you're going to get Lady Knight, all of which are important. You need these three. Uh, they're really, really helpful at the start of the game. So you're going to need to get these points. It means you're going to have to be attacking these Marauders, which means you should get as much experience as you possibly can, which means you need the bar. Getting lots of experience means it's just going to be easier in the long run for your heroes. Yeah, it's really, really important. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Um, second building, I think, is, oh, look, we little guys attack somebody. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um, <laughs> Second bit, most important building, um, I think, and in any account, but really important in the farm accounts, actually, is the town hall, which is out oh, here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, town hall. Okay, stationing is super, super important, uh, especially for your farms, because you're going to be, you're, if you're lucky, you're going to get some of these um, development heroes pretty early on. But even for your main account, having as many things stationed as possible is going to be great. Um, so I would honestly try and get this up. Uh, and it's relatively cheap for the first couple of levels. You know, we've already got some stationing plans. I believe you get them from a certain uh, castle level. Um, but it only takes 34 minutes, and it only takes, if we look here, where is it? Uh, does it tell me the upgrade costs? More information. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, cost 10, 12. Uh, maybe it does. Is that 10? Is that how many things it costs? No, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Uh, cost 10. I'm confused about what that means for a second. Uh, I can't remember what that means. But basically, it's really important because stationing things, especially for your farms, is going to produce that much more amount of resources, which is going to be very helpful for you to grow faster, faster, faster. So Town Hall is my second pick as one of the most important buildings in the game, early game. Um, Farmer's Guild comes up next, obviously. Farmer's Guild is fantastic and should be upgraded as fast as possible. You get the Bountiful Harvest. If you decided to go for a Craftsman or to be a Raider, um, the Guild buildings in any in any of the classes are really important. So I definitely keep these as a very important uh, building to upgrade. Um, obviously, for the Farmer's Guild, this is very easy. This is going to give you uh, loads of resources every, uh, what is it, 12 hours, 8 hours or something like that. Uh, upgrading it will reduce the time that it takes to cool down and increase the amount of resources that you can get from this. So it's a, it's a super cool thing to have. Um, and definitely further on in the game, you know, it can start producing quite large quantities of resources, which is very useful. Um, charcoal workshop, I've talked about before, super important. You can see I've, I've not burnt any wood yet. So we, this, we're on the sixth day, I think, of, of this game. Uh, and I've not burnt a single piece of wood yet. Uh, and I have... 68,000 up there. Uh, it seems to be... Get out of the way, you. Uh, I'm still at least one... 
thousand uh, charcoal per hour in production higher than I need to be, which is great. Uh, I don't have any in stock, but I'm doing okay. And just by increasing this, and I can do this once more, can't I? We can. We're at level nine now. We can go all the way up to. We're at level eight. We can go up to level nine now. Fantastic. This, especially in the early game, is just going to keep me in as much wood as I possibly can have, because we don't want to go into our stock. We really want to leave all of our stock here until we get into some of the higher levels. So we've just got a massive excess of uh, resources sitting in our backpack. Um, that's really super important. Uh, and the last thing, the last set of buildings that I think you should be upgrading uh, and focusing on early game. And we're talking early game, I'm talking about the first maybe week or two of an average to slow player. So basically me. <laughs> um, but the last uh, building set of buildings is the storages, guys. I think it's super important. As you can see right now, I'm almost full on my wood storage. And basically, I'm just going to start wasting stuff uh, if I don't uh, you know, have more. I can't take uh, some of these things. Like if we earned a daily challenge now or a daily task, I probably couldn't open it because, well, I could open it, but I'm going to end up wasting uh, you know, probably either ale or something like that. Now, wasting ale is not too bad. But I definitely don't want to be wasting anything else up here on this top right, top row. So um, super important to keep your storages. And everybody knows, if you've ever played this game before, if you haven't played this game before, I can promise you that storages are and will always be the bane of your existence and your life. <laughs> when you get to the high levels, you will be spending all your time and all your resources just trying to get your iron storage level three up another level you know it's a massive massive uh, annoyance late game so anything you can do now to get your storages up and not waste any resources and this is kind of what everything we're talking about now is just by focusing on these little things right now i don't know why i'm writing with my pen but it's these tiny efficiencies at the start of the game that kind of what's the word you know they build it's like a like compound interest being smart now not using anything from your backpack now Focusing on using only the res you're producing now, having a high res production now, is going to compound and save you in the long run uh, an enormous amount of time and effort. This is what I mean by being kind of efficient in the way you start your account. So that's my top five buildings to maximize early game for the first couple of weeks of the game. As I said before, let me know down below if you think there's another building that should be in the top five. Maybe we can do it again. And what I suggest is in a couple of weeks, once we get above C15, I'm going to do another top five buildings, you know, for mid-game. Because in my view, the game is separated into Castle 1 to Castle 15, Castle 15 to Castle 22, and then 22 plus, the three kind of stages of the game, early, mid, and late game. Um, so, and I, you know, in mid-game, there's some buildings that I think are a little bit more important than uh, here. But those are my top five buildings. Let me know down below. Make sure you eat some cheese today, guys. It's very, very important. And click the like, subscribe if you can. I'll catch you on the next one. Ooh, la, la.